Hot off some high scoring games this weekend. Lacrosse head coach Alicia Groveston joins us now to talk about her team. A uh, couple of losses against uh, Lindenwood and Indy, but then all of a sudden your team really responded and has played well in its last three. Just talk about how your team did respond after those two midseason losses. Sure, I, you know, I think we were really excited to go to Lindenwood and play and have the chance to compete against a top team in the nation. Um, it's a program we've never beaten, and I think for us it was going to be a statement win when we pulled it off. Uh, we had a lead, we went back and forth with them, we just made some uh, some costly errors and couldn't finish towards the end. We went about 28 minutes in that game without scoring, which you can't do against really good teams. Now that being said, we held them to, to not scoring as much, but Again, we got to put games away when we need to, and I think we learned a lot about ourselves from that game. Uh, tough part for us heading the next one was straight into Indy, who was ranked top 15 in the country, and, and we kind of fell asleep at the wheel a little bit. So, you know, we realized our errors in both of those games, and I think we really truly wanted to right the ship and come back in a, a very positive direction heading into our final few games at home, and then also making sure that we handled business so that we would put ourselves in a great situation for the GLIAC tournament. All right, let's take a look at some of the highlights then. Uh, Friday night against Northern Michigan and uh, 22 to 3 Grand Valley comes away with the win and it, this was a special night right orange number yes. jerseys and headbands talk a little bit about that first so this game was our multiple sclerosis game we ended up doing a, a ceremonial draw with Ashley Bailey and Abby O'Neill both of whom have parents who, have, who are suffering with uh, MS and, and Abby's dad who passed away this past fall so you know for us it meant a lot more we had a lot of angels in the outfield if you will with us there and and it was just a, a really great opportunity to show the nation and how much of a family we truly are and the culture that these girls have become a, a great part of. And, you know, it was it was very emotional prior to, during, and after. And I think the, the great thing is that the girls reigned in their emotions and we're very thankful to Northern for, for joining us on this campaign and, and being a, a big part of the day with us. It was a very special night and one I don't think anybody will forget anytime soon. But, you know, the play of our team was was fire from the beginning and I think that's, that's exactly what we did. Carly Schistler had a huge night for us. Um, this is Sophia Conroy, who's one of our freshmen um, who will do big things in her, in her four years at Grand Valley. And, you know, I think it was a new look for us, and it was a new chance to kind of do some things that were, were a little exciting. Maria D'Angelo, one of our seniors who was honored uh, yesterday in our senior game with a great roll dodge. So, you know, beautiful night, uh, one of the first with some sunshine. So, you know, we, we, brought, the, we brought the sun to the field as well. Carly uh, Schussler, you mentioned her. What what a game! I mean, uh, game high of five goals mm -hmm. converted on all five of her shot attempts. I mean, she was uh, just about as good as you can get. She was. Uh, you know, as a junior, Carly has really come into her own. She's done some truly amazing things on the field. She's been huge for us off the draw um, and gets the play started for us and then she's really been able to finish a lot of successful scoring opportunities so it's been really fantastic to watch her kind of evolve and I think the fun part for us when this game was we got everybody in everybody got to play Annie Yost one of our sophomores got a great goal and a little pop-up assist from Adriana Smith so super fun night and just really really proud of our girls. All right Concordia St. Paul then was your next game and uh, that, that was yesterday afternoon 21 yes. to 4. Yes. Uh, another big blowout lopsided scoreboard for Grand Valley and in the process you clinch at least a share of the GLIAC title so you had to be pleased with that it was like a two for one. It was um, you know I think the again this we talked about how emotional this whole weekend was going to be obviously with the MS game on Friday but then on Sunday uh, being able to honor our 13 seniors it's a massive class to, to be losing and they're they're huge for us and and I think you know to be able to win that game for them and then to know that we clinched a share of the title we set ourselves up in a really good spot for for a postseason play and and handle business at home to be able to kind of just solidify what we what we want to do here moving forward in the next three weeks another game too where you had multiple people scoring in northern Michigan you had 11 different goal scorers in this game you had nine so it's good to see that as you get closer and closer to postseason play. I think the tough part for teams when they're playing us is who do you shut down who do you stop um, and that's been a big part of how we've designed our attack is to have multiple scores to have multiple threats whether it's feeding from behind or driving from behind or driving from the top or feeding you know it doesn't matter we, we like to be able to change it up a bit and get a little more creative and, and I think that really shows well in these last two games that no matter who's on the field we can put points on the board. Yeah, Erica Newman uh, led Grand Valley's attack with six goals Ashley Bailey netted three goals mm -hmm. and seven assists for a game high ten points yeah. so 
Those are two there that really stood above, it seems like, in this particular match. Yeah, I mean, it, two seniors who have been in our program for a long time. Um, you know, I've known both of them, both are Michiganders, and I've known both of them for pretty much as long as I've lived here. So, <laughs> you know, to watch them grow up on the field and, and off the field and really just evolve into the great leaders. They're, they're our captains for our program. So to watch them do that, it, it's been outstanding to, to kind of see them really come into their own. And, and Eric has adapted her role, and Ash Bay has really stepped up into some, some shoes that we needed to have filled. All right, let's look ahead now. you got sure. one game left uh, Friday night yes. at Davenport. Uh, win that match, and you win the GLIAC outright. You already know that you're in the postseason, but let's just discuss this particular match. It's uh, the rival within Grand Rapids, so sure. to speak, and uh, it's your last one before it gets serious. Yeah, I think the, the exciting thing for us is obviously being able to finish our, our our regular season pretty close to home. Uh, we've never had a road trip that's been less than an hour, actually less than four hours. So <laughs> it's kind of really amazing to do this uh, almost on our home turf. You know, it will be almost like a home game for us as well. And we need to handle business. We, we started very slow against them the last time we played them. And I think we really want to set the tone for our for our postseason play. Now win on Friday and we are the GLIAC champions, regular season champions, and we will for sure host the, the GLIAC tournament the weekend after. Um, there's only four teams in our, our postseason. So so one plays four, two plays three, winners advance to Sunday's game. And then, you know, for us, for us to be in control of our destiny and, and to get into post postseason, that, that optimal second season of NCAAs, we need to win out. Um, when we went out, we should, no one should be able to take away that opportunity from us. All right, Alicia, good luck in the game Thank against Davenport. Thank bet. you. We'll take a look at the GLIAC Golf Championships when we come back right here on the Grand Valley State Sports Report.